Hi guys, so today I'm doing a tag. I haven't been tagged, but I really wanted to do it, so I thought, you know what, life's about taking opportunities, and that's what I'm gonna do right now. Also, excuse the glasses, I just felt too lazy to pretend I wasn't blind today, and too lazy to put on my contacts as well, so you will have to deal with that. The first thing I found is Stephen Spike, Spike, Spike. And it's Lettre d'une inconnue, which is probably Letters from a Stranger, I suppose, in English translation. It's basically the story of a girl who writes to a man she really loves and loves for a very long time, and she has never had the chance to feel that love back because that's an unrequited love, which is, oh, something I know very well about. <laughs> she falls in love with this guy when she's 13 and she never stops loving him until the day she dies. And she dies in a very sad way and that's linked to this guy as well. And that's a very heartbreaking, very short love story, but that's completely worth the reading. For my classic, I went a little bit not French. There are obviously many classics in French literature that I love and I um, made a video about that. If you're interested, I will put it somewhere around there. But I went with Dracula, which is one of my favorite, if not my favorite book of all time. Everyone knows the story, but very few people have actually read the book, which is a shame. I know some people don't really like it, they think it's a bit too kitsch, and I personally think it's amazing. That's exactly the kind of books I like, and you know, I've always been like a girl deep inside, so... <laughs> yeah. Oldest book in my shelf on my shelf is probably this one. It's not really a book, it's a what do you call that in um English? It's not the Bible, but it has ooh, it's not the Bible, but it has something to do with Christianism basically, and it's very, very old. I don't even know how old that is, but this is extremely old and it's just very beautiful. And it says 1855, which is, oops, pretty old, right? The book with a girl's face on it, I went with this one, Ecstasy by Murakami Ryu. That's a book about sex, drugs, and sadomasochism. And it's not, it's not an happy read, it's not a light and joyful read, but it's really, really interesting. Murakami Ryu is not one of my favorite Japanese writers, but I think his work is really interesting and it's definitely a big part of the Japanese literature. So if you're interested in, you know, world literatures and Japanese literature, I think it would be kind of a big miss to not read one of his books. Okay, so a book with an animal in it. I went with this one, which is also a Japanese um, book, sorry. Uh, it's called um, I Am A Cat, and it's basically what it says. It's like the life of a cat. You know what? This book was such a big surprise to me, because I had to read for school, and I was like, oh my god, that sounds a bit boring, a bit strange, and a bit ew. But in fact, it is very witty and very funny. funny I actually laughed sometimes reading that, which doesn't happen very often to me. The cat is the narrator and he's basically telling what happened in his life and you know he tells about his family and stuff and you know what the death is really sad as well like I laughed and I cried so a really nice book and a big 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 classic in Japanese literature this one really big and it's by Natsume Soseki for a book with a male protagonist I went with one in which surprisingly the title says quite the opposite it's called La Venus à la Fourrure which in German is Venus in Pelz, and I suppose Venus in Fur in English. If you're wondering where sadomasochism comes from, I don't want to give you the impression that I'm really into that. I think, I think it's really interesting, but I'm not super into that. And it's basically from this guy, kind of, because this book is like the first book that really sets, it's like the big classic, it's like the, the biggest book about sadomasochism. It is, uh, well, about a guy that is willing to be the slave of a woman and it's written from his point of view, so he's the protagonist, but the woman obviously has a very big part to play in this book. My book with only letters on it is this one, it's, it's called um, Tales from Colima or Colima Tales in English. I'm sorry, but I have to translate all the titles from French to English. That's basically what it says. Colima was a camp in Russia, a gulag. Shalamov actually was sent there because he was a writer and the USSR didn't really like them very much, especially when they wanted to speak their mind. And that's very well written and it's very heartbreaking. It's also a big lesson of hope and um, willpower and humanity and it's it's very, very humbling and it's amazing. 
Okay, so this one is a bit heavy. My book with illustration is a poetry book. It's Les Fleurs du Mal by Charles Baudelaire. It's a very, very famous French poet. It's my favorite French poet, I think. And it's full of illustration. So there is this one. Um, so basically it's illustrated by some symbolist and decadent uh, paintings, which is something I really like. But this book is really beautiful. I love it very, very much. I didn't find a book with gold lettering, but I found a book with gold pages that it counts. We'll make it count anyway. Um, it's Madame Bovary by Gustave Flaubert. It's one of my favorite books, one of, one of my favorite writers. Um, my favorite French writer, I want to say. Yes, I think I'm going to say it. Yeah, it's a must read, really. For the diary, I'm not going to be very surprising. The Bridget Jones diary. Yeah, I don't have any other diary. I'm not really into diaries. I don't think... I don't like them very much, to be honest. Okay, so I want to say that Said is a common Arabic name. Am I wrong with that, guys? I don't think I'm wrong. Orientalism by Edward Said, which I haven't read yet, but I'm really excited to start reading it. It's a must read, I think, if you want to know. But, you know, if you just want to have a different look on you know, West and East and how we perceive, um, you know, what's different from us and what's foreign. So this book has a close-up of a lady's back with a corset and it's um, by Guillaume Apollinaire and it's called Les Exploits de Jeune Don Juan. I don't know how you would translate that in English. I will put some annotation somewhere. Didn't like this book very much. It's basically about sex and about young guy discovering puberty, going through puberty and discovering sexuality and having sex with every single woman in the house. This one is probably the oldest of all books ever. And I have the Bible as well. Boom! This book is pretty old, as you can tell. It's a bit dirty and it's once again a poetry book. It's um, Il ne me parie que d'Elsa. So... Yeah, I think I'm gonna read some of them to you in the next vi in another video. Um, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> I don't have much to say about that. It's poetry. You read and you feel something. Turquoise Teal Book. I will go with The Space Between Us by Zoya Piazad. And it's a book that I haven't finished yet, as you can tell. So the stars are really small, but you can see them. And it's um, by Tim Burton. And it's La Triste. The fin du petit enfant huit très autre histoire, which in English it's it's a bilingual. So it's the make the melancholy death of Oyster Boy and other stories, and that's really really funny. And you have illustration in there. Um, you really can tell I don't read young adult books, never. I mean you can read whatever the hell you want to read, whatever you feel like you are ready to read. But this is um, by Sad who is known for his work that focuses a lot on sexuality and perversions and you know that kind of strange stuff that you wouldn't necessarily want your 13 year old daughter or son to read. This one which is the question of Palestine which I think everyone should read anyway. <laughs> it's a tough topic, it's a heavy topic but yeah everyone should read that. No one should close their eyes on what's happening there. You know just what I would just casually place it in the video <laughs> somewhere. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, guys. Excuse my face and everything, but I thought I would film that for you because I really enjoyed watching Jess' video. I thought it was really cool. Always good to hear about what others read. I hope you enjoyed that. Feel free to film a video response, and I will talk to you very soon, guys. Bye-bye!